Here's some of my juices from day two of solid food vacation. We have lemon ginger blast. This is um, star fruit with mango and lime. I've made two of those, it's ridiculous. And then this is just star fruit and mango. Ridiculous, ridiculous drink. And then watermelon, lime. And then this is beets with carrot and apples and some other ingredients, which I forgot right now, but I've already downed a couple of these jars today and maybe I'll juice some more later. We'll see if I need all this today. So I had seven jars yesterday, seven big 32 ounce jars. Um, four of these is a gallon. So, you know, you wanna drink a lot of juice. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat, for those of you who are new here. This is day two of my solid food vacation. It's going a lot easier than I thought. Um, I'm not as hungry as I thought I would be, and I'm drinking, I don't feel like I'm drinking enough today, but I'm drinking regularly, and I find that it helps to drink in um, gulps. Sometimes when I sip, I just sip a little bit, and I don't drink enough, and then I get hungry so fast. So. Um, drinking a lot more at a time really helps to kind of push the hunger away, um, but I heard that gets easier as well. What are the things I'm noticing right now? Um, I'm noticing that I am a little bit lethargic. I'm not my uppity happy self. I just kind of want to communicate a lot today. I'm very communicative, which is great. I've got a lot done today. I've been up since 6 a.m. and I started juicing right away. I got all that juice done within like two hours. So I feel like I'm getting more and more efficient. What is happening today is a lot of going to the bathroom, number one and number two. By the way, all these videos may be a little TMI. I mean, that's pretty much what you're doing, right? You're, you're detoxifying, you're eliminating, and that's what this is about. It's getting rid of that caca inside of you, <laughs> literally. So, um, you know, if that's not your thing, you don't want to get rid of it, you want to carry it around, then this might not be the video for you. This might not be the channel to watch because right now I'm going to try to go the distance on the juice fast. So what that means is I'm going to keep going until I don't poop solids anymore or I get rid of that mucoid plaque. So that may take up to 30 days to 100 days. We don't know. But I'm going to take it day by day and of course listen to my body. I'm going to make sure I get all my calories from juicing. You can definitely um, track how much you're getting and what nutrients you're getting. Um, by using a great <laughs> by using a great website called Juice Builder, and I'll leave a link below so you guys can check it out if you're interested, and that way you know what you're getting. So tomorrow I'm going to try to use it and see what I'm getting. I've never actually used the app, so that'll be interesting to do. My energy's a little low, I'm a little lethargic, um, but I've been pretty productive, and I don't feel like is impossible like I feel like I've got this I feel you know it's gonna have its moments its challenges I got a little emotional here and there I just like a little bit more sensitive but in a good way because there were tears of happiness like I'm hugging my cat and I'm like I love you so much Mwah. honeydew tangerine ginger right here it's really really good Something I learned as I'm juicing in large quantities is to try to juice your water-rich ingredients and melons and things like that first because it doesn't clog up your juicer so that you can go longer between having to clean your juicer. So sometimes I've done that where I juice my um, root veggies or things with ginger and pineapples are the worst. I mean, they're delicious, but they clog up the um, fine mesh on the juicer the most because of their special type of fiber. So I've noticed just to do those things at the end, that way I don't have to take apart my juicer, declog, and then keep going. So it saves me a lot of time to do the melons first, and they go really quickly. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on how it's going. I wanted to make a video, even though I look like, I feel like I look like crap. Um, I have no makeup on, like I'm just like, I'm feeling a little like, <laughs> so, um, you know, it's all a part of it. So I just wanted to give you guys a little glimpse of my day two. Um, even though I'm not feeling pretty or looking pretty, in my opinion, it is what it is. Um, 
I'm just trying to document it so that you can see it for what it is, I guess. Mm. Yeah, we'll see what happens next.